A meal on the stove turned into a fire that killed a Milledgeville man. Kalisha Moore met with the man's brother and Baldwin County Fire Chief to figure out how it happened. The family of Joseph Dixon told me he was cooking here at his home of at least 30 years when a fire broke out in the kitchen just behind me. Now all that remains is this damage and the sadness of the family who loved him. God said he'll never leave us nor will he forsake us. So we just standing on his word. And then this is a tragedy. Joseph Dixon's brother Herbert Dixon says the 75 year old man was a husband, father, grandfather, and one of 15 siblings. And he was a big brother of mine whom I love and cherish. He taught me a lot and he was a jack of all trades. Dixon lived at his minor road home with his wife, who had left to run an errand before the fire. Chief Victor Young with the Baldwin County Fire and Rescue says when crews arrived to the home a little before 9 p.m. Saturday, they saw more smoke than flames. Then they went inside. Upon the search in the home, they found Mr. Dixon in the back room, I think in his bedroom area, probably in a closet from what I'm hearing. Though it only took Baldwin County Fire and Rescue three minutes to respond to the home, the fire burned through the roof. While they're still investigating, they suspect it was started because Dixon was cooking and possibly fell asleep. It's uh, heartbreaking to me, um, to our community, and I just, we just pray that everyone pray for the family at this time of loss. and. And we're just going to rattle together as one big family. In Baldwin County, Kalisha Moore, 13 WMAZ News. Mr. Dixon's body was sent to the GBI for an autopsy. Chief Young said due to smoke, water, and roof damage, the home is a total loss. We're taking a closer look at some tips to protect yourself in case of a fire. The National Fire Protection Association says to install and test smoke alarms. You should make sure they are all connected, so if one sounds, they all do. You should test the alarms once a month and replace any alarm that's 10 years old. If a fire does start, the Red Cross says to never open doors that are warm to the touch. If you have to escape through smoke, get low and go underneath the smoke and close doors behind you.